This might be a big threat to Putin's reign and a glimmer of hope for the Ukrainian people when it comes to ending the war, VPN. A virtual private network is one of the very few ways Russians can access independent news sources and social media like Facebook, Insta and Twitter. That's why downloads have skyrocketed in the last weeks. And there's more. VPNs have played a role in a number of political conflicts in the crypto trade and can also be a helpful tool for everyday users. Why is VPN so important? VPN is an effective way to break through the Russian Iron Curtain of online censorship. Experts agree that the Ukraine war is to large parts also an information war. Resistance coming from within Russia could probably put an end to Putin's invasion of Ukraine. That's why the Russian government strictly controls what kind of information is available to the Russian people. Under a new law, Russians aren't allowed to spread fake news, which includes talking about a Russian invasion or war instead of a special military operation. For using the wrong words, people can end up in jail for up to 15 years. Social media channels are strictly censored or even blocked. One example, Instagram access in Russia was cut on Monday, March the 14th. A few days before, Instagram users received an email from Russia's media monitoring agency Roskomnadzor. They were advised to save their Instagram photos and videos before the shutdown. Users were encouraged to switch to Russia's own competitive internet platforms Vcontacts, Odnoklasniki or Moimir. But in reality, the Instagram user data is not lost or even erased because of the shutdown. It is stored on server farms all around the world beyond the reach of Russian authorities. What they can do though is block access to the platform with the help of IP addresses. Every device that connects to the internet has one. Amongst other information, it includes the device's location and that way access can be blocked for all smartphones and computers on Russian soil by Russian internet providers. To bypass the bans, Russians are installing virtual private network applications on their smartphones and computers. Simply put, via a VPN, your data traffic is routed through an encrypted virtual tunnel. This disguises your IP address when you use the internet and makes its location invisible to everyone. Therefore, it can guarantee the safety of Russians that are getting information online from sources that are considered hostile by the Russian government, for example. The demand for VPN applications has skyrocketed in Russia in the last days. On the eve of the Instagram ban, downloads were 2,088% higher than the daily average in mid-February, according to monitoring firm Top 10 VPN. Back in February, a makeup filter app was the most downloaded application in Russia's iOS store. The top three right now are all mobile VPN servers. Everyday users that have little to do with the Ukraine war have VPNs for rather practical reasons. For example, to watch that Netflix series that you normally would only get in the US. But VPNs have been used in more serious contexts before too. In 2013, people in Turkey used them during a series of civilian protests against the Erdogan government to evade censorship. VPNs are also very popular in countries where trading with cryptocurrencies is banned. With unstable local currencies in some regions, people are understandably looking for alternative ways to secure their assets. And with VPNs, they can get access to international crypto exchanges, even if they are blocked in their respective country. We can see this in Nigeria at the moment. The crucial part VPNs could play in the Ukraine war is informing the Russian people about what is really going on. Resistance against Putin from within Russia might be the only possibility to avoid further escalation. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.